guys okay anyways let me be so for real but hi guys welcome back and if you're new here my name is daniela and i make college faith and lifestyle based content and things like that um i've been seeing that my uh, old college packing list has been gaining a lot of uh, like attraction and attention and i made that when i was i think a sophomore or about to be a sophomore so i'm a senior now and so i came back because i'm like i might as well give y'all like an updated packing list because if you're already here you can see the updated list and see what you need to pack for school and things like that so, but yeah let's go ahead and get to the video the first thing on the list is a body pillow and i got one last year and that changed my life and i say that because there are times where i get tired of sitting at my desk and i want to just sit on my bed but like it's not comfortable to sit on the bed and try to do your work or use a laptop so having a body pillow that kind of just props you up and it's like comfortable changed the game for me bro. i'm gonna put a picture of what it looked like i feel like y'all should know what it looked like but if you don't this is the picture of what it looks like second thing is a mattress pad i keep on getting mattress pad and mattress topper confused but they're two different things a mattress pad is the cushion that goes on top of your bed to make it comfortable and then topper goes over that and then you put on your sheets and things like that so you need a pad because i mean some people say like their beds are comfortable but like them twin beds like if you ain't got nothing on them they are not comfortable yeah get a mattress pad and a mattress topper next thing i have is get a laptop desk i don't even know if that's what it's called i'll insert a picture find that that was really nice to have especially like if i didn't want to just sit on my lap because usually i would have a blanket or something when I'm sitting in my bed. If I'm, and sometimes I don't have a laptop case over my laptop because the laptop case just break very easily over time. And so like I have like a naked laptop and there's no case over it. And so it will slide everywhere. So if I put it on top of like a laptop thing, then like, you know, it sits there. It's not a problem. And next thing is, I don't know, people said you needed a Brita and I got a Brita. I don't think it was a, a Brita, but it was like a water filter, but like I didn't need it. I, I usually drink water bottles anyways. And so I just bought packs of them. That way I would have them and just put it in my fridge. And if you have a mini fridge and you bring it to campus, your Brita, fil Brita filter won't even fit in that, depending on the size of your like mini fridge. If you have the one that has like a freezer and like a fridge, like then that could probably possibly work for you but mine was just like a mini fridge and then there was like a, a small like compartment like you could put like your ice cube tray in there it yeah it was like a mini fridge it was a mini mini fridge but you know they have those mini fridges that have like a freezer in it but we have a water fountain and there's filtered water and so you don't really need a verdict filter because you can go get filtered water by the water fountain so that's not really a necessity but like depending on you next is buy tumblers cups plates and all those things they have those things at like walmart and target and they're very cheap i think they start from like what 50 cents so you can go get those and leave them in your room because you're going to need the plates or cups or something like get plates tumblers and cups and like silverware they have them all in those sections just get them because they're very cheap and you can reuse them you don't need those paper plates and stuff like that and they'll last you all through out college because i still have mine and i'm going to my senior year next is bring a suitcase and duffel bag you don't know when you'll travel or you'll want to go visit friends or things like that so bring it just in case or if you guys decide to just like go on a spontaneous like trip or a road trip or something somewhere then you have a suitcase or a duffel bag with you and you can pack all your things in there and oh my gosh the next thing you need is blankets like i say blankets because there'll be probably times where like the weather is nice on campus and you want to sit outside on like the lawn or whatever and just sit there and do work or read or do whatever with, and just hang out with your friends but if you don't have a blanket i don't know what you're gonna do as for me i never really had blankets and if i did they weren't like big enough to like just be put it on the lawn or like that would fit everybody it would be like i can bring one that would fit myself but yeah if you know you like to sit outside you should definitely bring blankets because you'll probably need them too next thing on my list is bed skirts but if you don't want to spend a lot of money on bed skirts i would say buy curtains and then just tuck them under your like your mattress and like use it as a bed skirt because bed skirts are expensive let me go look at the price i remember i wanted to get a bed skirt and that thing was expensive why is a bed skirt 69 dollars 58 dollars 100 dollars 85 99 no <laughs> what why let's look at the price of curtains there are cheap ones curtains are definitely cheaper and i guess like you would have to wait before you get to school to get them because i you want to measure like how what the length should be i mean i guess you can always just tuck it in until like if it it's the length that you needed to but it's definitely cheaper and that's what i did for my first two years i didn't buy a bed skirt because the price is ridiculous so do that that was a hack i did it saved me a lot of money it could save you a lot of money too next is get a lamp i wish i had one of those lamps like the led ones that you could control the lighting that way if it's too bright you can like dim it because there'll be times where like i would use the one the standard one that um comes with the dorm room essentials at target that everybody gets and there's only like one setting and so you can't really control the lighting so whatever it is is whatever it stays at and I mean, you definitely need a lamp though, but I would encourage you to get the ones that you can change the, the setting of the lighting. Next, this has nothing to do with like any like category, but like 
save boxes for when you go to school and you're packing a lot of times at the end of the school year i see a lot of people they just like carry things from out of the room like not in anything at all they'll just like have all their clothes like just off the hangers carried it and just throwing it into the car everything is just everywhere what i did was like save boxes like if you're ordering things online from amazon save those boxes that way when time comes for you to go to school you can just pack everything in there like can save space in the car and pack more things in it next command strips but use these at your own risk because i definitely chipped the wall this year I didn't see them charge me though. It wasn't like a big hole in the wall, but like, be mindful. Cause sometimes the command strips can, mm, use command strips at your own <laughs> risk. And then decor, I mean, it depends on you. I bought decor and a lot of the decor that I use, I use a lot of the decor throughout my years of college. Like I just reused them. And then like throughout, I would just like maybe add things every year, like maybe small things. I know some people, if they go get decor against certain things, they would go thrifting or go to like the dollar section in Target or something like that and go find things that they like. I feel like everybody says this, but you don't need all your clothes. If there's a clothing item that you look at and you're like, mm, I don't know if I'll wear this, but maybe like, I don't know when I'll need it. It's best to probably just leave it at home because I find out for, at least for myself, like if I'm undecided or if it's a maybe, then it just means a no. Cause I, I end up not even using it or wearing it like most of the time. Only take the things that you know for a fact that you will wear or you'll wear like constantly or things like that. A lot of times people are, are like dressed in like casual, like maybe sweatpants, hoodies or whatever and things like that. Me, I, I dress up. I'm going to be putting on some jeans. I'm going to dress up for class and things like that. So, but I'm also very minimalistic. So I don't have a lot, but I wear a lot of like things all the time. So next is an acrylic makeup stand. I have one and I got it from like TJ or Burlington, one of them. And I've just reused it throughout the years. Like it still holds up. I just like try to make sure that I clean. It. I put all my makeup in it, but I feel like if you have a lot of makeup, then maybe depending on the size of the acrylic makeup stand, then you might need like a bigger one, a small one. The next is a shower caddy. I've only had the mesh one. I never had like the actual shower, like plastic shower caddy, but I feel like that might be better because everything you put in it, it will like stand up. As for like a mesh shower caddy, things could fall out if you set it down. If, if you don't have a lot of things in there, then like things could probably like fall out or lean or whatever. But the only thing I don't like with the plastic shower caddy is that like, it doesn't stretch so like whatever the size is like you have to make sure everything will fit in there but as for like a mesh shower caddy like it can stretch like next is a shoe rack i have a shoe rack and i've used it all three years and i got my shoe rack from walmart i'm pretty sure i think it was like 10 or 11 dollars or something like that and it's like i guess two tiers yeah i i would highly recommend that that way you can organize your shoes i don't know if people bring like shoe boxes and all that to school i don't know why that would just take up space your dorm is already small enough as it is and then next shower shoes i feel like that's like a given because you don't want to walk weird but into the shower i don't know who does that and if you do that please seek help um yeah those showers are dirty you are not the only person using those restrooms on that communal bathroom floor so please bring shower shoes they're cheap you can get them at target walmart bed bath and beyond if they are still open i don't know next is a trash can get, you can get a mini trash can from like walmart dollar well dollar tree i guess so have i seen one i'm pretty sure they have it though so get a mini trash can to put by your desk or something like that that way you could just throw trash in there when you need to next is storage cube and baskets as for me i got my storage cubes from dollar tree i believe but you can get them anywhere that way you can store extra things in there i know i would put like my hair products in them or like put my pads in them or any extra things that like i didn't have space to put in i would organize and put it all in there that way they were already all organized in in a box and things like that so that goes into my next item also get like an ottoman that can, you could also use as storage because if you have an ottoman to step onto your bed that helps but if you also could use it as storage that's extra storage space that you can store things in if you don't have any other room or place to put it you can just put it in your ottoman but if you don't want an ottoman you can always just get a step stool as well next is a microwave i know some schools they provide microwaves or fridges in their dorms so you might not need it but as for me i had to get a microwave and so like if i ever wanted to eat something reheat something then you would probably need most likely need to get a microwave but you have to make sure that you're looking at your school website because i it has to be under a specific amount of watts so make sure you're looking at your school list and what they allow you to bring and what the restriction is for those things if you have a mini fridge bring a silicone ice cube tray because depending on the size if you have like the mini mini fridge without like the mini fridge and freezer area like then bring a silicone ice cube tray because if you try to get the the regular one it won't fit in there i promise you the thing about the silicone ones is that they just take longer to freeze next is a three-tier rolling cart i feel like everybody 
says that but i've had mine for all three years too and i continue to use it like for my first two years when i was staying in like regular traditional dorm i used it like as a side table so, but this past year i used it to put like all of my snacks my food and, and vitamins and things like that sorry because you can use it for anything next i will say get a desk organizer that way you can put the, the desk organizer inside the desk drawer itself that way you can separate all your stationary items within the desk drawer yeah get a desk drawer also get a stapler i have like a mini stapler but i don't use it as often just because everything is digital and online so there are like i guess like times or moments where i will need a stapler like if my professor needs me to print something but for the most part i don't usually use it as often but it's there for when i need it so i would say it comes in handy when you do need it it's just there next is tape you don't know when you'll need it and if you're packing or whatever it is that you'll need the tape for like get tape just just get it next get a notebook i would suggest getting the five subject notebook i think because as for me like i never bought like individual for each class i just had the five subject one so like if i had a class i could just flip to that uh, the other section for whatever specific class i would take notes for and i could write my notes in there but i started barely using it like i would type my notes either on my laptop or our teachers would have the notes in canvas for us so i didn't really need to type notes because they already like kind of had it for us so yeah depending on your classes i would just say get a five subject one that way you can have one notebook and you can have all your classes in that one subject notebook get a whiteboard and markers i feel like that makes it fun and it'll keep you organized and you can keep track of all the assignments and tasks and upcoming events that you have going on on campus and things like that that in a student planner to keep yourself organized and on top of your schoolwork and whatever things may be coming up for you top of getting a planner also get pens and pencils yeah get those packs if you know you use them a lot and you and you lose it then yeah i suggest getting like the bigger pack that way they'll last you longer next stationary items is sticky notes i use my sticky notes like crazy if i have something going on i need to write like a to-do list or something or if there's something coming up or even if i just want to write like a verse or something on my sticky note to keep me motivated or whatever like that i will use my sticky notes all the time for anything and everything next is a backpack you're gonna need one so that's a given get a backpack and one i would say that has a lot of pockets and you can store a lot of things in it next is a calculator you're gonna be taking bath so bring that calculator so yeah next is a is a pair of scissors bring one you need one so bring scissors you'll need it bring extension cords and power strips they really come in handy when you need them because you can just connect all of like your media sources into that power strip because two outlets is not enough for everything you're gonna need to use in your room so bring a power strip i would suggest like maybe at least like one or two next is a laptop which i feel like it's kind of already a given because you'll need it next i forgot to say this but you don't need a printer at least i didn't i almost thought like i, I should have bought one but i almost never used it like as i said a lot of the assignments i do is online and digital and so when you submit it is through canvas and i don't really need a printer to print anything or submit any work in person like but i just go to the library and do that because next is headphones you'll need headphones if you're walking to and from class or wherever you're going just to play music and things like that so invest in a good pair of headphones next is a portable charger you'll need it depending on where you're going like if you're hanging out if you know you're going out somewhere late or whatever like bring a portable charger because if you're not near like an outlet or or somewhere you can plug your phone then you can have the portable charger like on hand on you and you can just use it that way next is a tv if you need one because if you're in a standard traditional dorm you might not have a place to put it i mean i guess you could try to figure it out it wasn't really necessary for me for my first two years i just used my laptop i mean my roommate had one my freshman year so i would use her tv like if i needed to watch something but i got one this year and my room was bigger so i I, I did get one using your laptop is fine but if you do decide to get one then be mindful of, like the sizing of your room and the space and like maybe not having a place to put it but if you do get a tv i would recommend getting a roku tv because i have a the samsung smart tv but like roku just has a lot of things there that you need like when it comes to like netflix or all these things because when it comes to like a smart tv they don't have that many apps on them and depending on like their app store they might not have everything you need next is get a speaker because you'll probably want to listen to music in your room or if you need it when you go out or things like that when you're hanging with your friends or picnics or whatever the case may be bring a speaker bring disinfectant wipes and spray i usually just get the ones that come in packs like i ordered the three pack one on amazon and it's like nine dollars and that usually lasts me for like a few months and along with that also get paper towel but still get it because you don't know like if you have plates and cups or things and you're eating in your room then you'll probably need them anyways so next get a laundry basket and a sturdy one at that i got mine from shan and i still have it but i'm gonna get a new 
one because a lot of people do recommend getting the one as a backpack because nobody wants to like kind of luggage and carry their laundry basket down to the basement floor to do laundry so if you can get a laundry backpack i would definitely suggest doing that maybe get both get a laundry basket for your room and then the laundry backpack for when you need to go do laundry and go to the basement or the ground floor of your like building or whatever like that next i would say get laundry detergent i know a lot of people get high pods and things like that but tide pods are expensive and I, I just can't so i would say get laundry detergent get like a, a big one and a small one get the bigger one that way it lasts you longer the smaller one is easier to carry downstairs than like trying to hold the heavier one and so if you have a smaller one when it finishes you can just pour the bigger one into the smaller one and just reuse it you know what i'm saying yeah so you don't have to go out and go buy another one because you have the small laundry detergent bottle and then the bigger one and then when the small one finishes you could just pour some of the, the laundry detergent in the bigger one into the smaller one that way you can carry it and it's not heavy and you you save yourself a lot of stress and also get dryer sheets because there was a time i didn't use dryer sheets and all my clothes would stick together or it would be staticky and i'm just like why what is i don't get it i didn't know that dryer sheets kept that from happening next get a vacuum or a broom and a dustpan next get air fresheners i have a wax warmer but i know you could just get plug-in air fresheners and put that in your wall as well that's that will work because a lot of times your ras won't let you have like what is the other thing like other things that people use like candles you can't use candles in your room and i don't even know if wax, wax former is on there but i never got in trouble for it so just do that at your own risk next is velvet hangers they're very thin and they save a lot of storage space in your closet instead of like the big plastic ones that are like thicker the velvet ones are very thin and you can store more things in your closet because they don't take up a lot of space next is an umbrella because you'll need it if it's raining just bring an umbrella next bring a steamer because who is bringing a whole ironing board and an iron in this in this 2023 please just bring a steamer you'll need you'll use it all the time for everything next i have bring tote bags and purses i forgot the reason why i put that but i use my tote bag a lot for everything because it's bigger and you could just put everything in there instead of like first i feel like purses you'll use like for like occasions like if you're going out like or whatever but tote bags i use them all the time too and then even when you're out your friends will be like oh can i put this in your tote bag so it does come in handy get a mini sewing kit i got that and there would be times where like something would rip or something and i would have that mini sewing kit and it came in handy because then i could just sew that thing back together also bring vitamins supplements like the emergency vitamins thing all those things because people be sick and you want to take care of yourself and also bring a band-aid kit because you don't know when you'll get like cuts or bruises and things like that or not even a band-aid kit but like a first aid kit next is a wrinkle spray because it will release the wrinkles from your clothes and you don't need to use like an iron or steamer if you forget because it's already there next you need a lint roller if you have black clothes and there's just things all over it you'll definitely need it next is an exercise mat get an exercise mat because if you're going to the gym i mean they have some at the gym and Anyways, but if you want to bring your own because you know like you're the only one using it then bring your own exercise mat and things like that and then another tip that isn't really like school related and like essential or packing on the packing list but make friends with the people on your floor because you're going to be in that building on that floor all school year so just get used to the people on the floor go meet them i know at least for me when i first started people would put their instagrams on cards and things like that and slide it under the door like oh follow me people would do that to make friends so that's one way to connect with people on your floor and make friends because y'all will see each other constantly next like check your school website for like dorm things when it comes to like the measurements of like the room the bedding the desk the drawers and things like that those come in handy when you need when you're going shopping for back to school anyways and they already have them provided for you so make sure you're looking at that because if you're going shopping and you get the wrong size of something that's kind of on you because your school might have already provided it for you so to save yourself any stress and just look at the school website and also use your school resources those people are there to help you and there are a lot of school on school resources that people don't utilize so make sure you're using them but yeah guys thank you so much for tuning into this video and if this was helpful for you then put this emoji down in the comment section and make sure to subscribe and follow me yeah this is my updated college packing list so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys later